What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going over the stats of the final Spotlight Sim Moments cards. So 2K basically tweeted out last week to say that this was the very last batch of Spotlight Sim Moments cards we we're going to get, and I honestly, I thought they were going to go out on a bang. I really did. I expected to see Thaddeus Young in here somewhere. I thought they were going to go out on a bang. Thank you for the 100 bits S calls. Um, but at the same time, we do have two very, well, one very, very good free um, Vault Opal and one not so much. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go over the stats of these five. And then I'm probably going to just go over the stats of these guys uh, in a separate video where once these guys come out. There's no point going over these too long because by the time I get this video out, these cards will probably be out in about 10, 15 minutes. So basically... Yeah, uh, these are the final Spotlight Sim. So for everybody who doesn't like Spotlight Sim cards, you're not really going to be seeing many of them. So well, you're not going to be seeing them anymore. And it's very, very rare you do come up against Spotlight Sim. Honestly, I think if they had just changed the card art, or if they had said the Spotlight Sim things for a couple of weeks and then just called these like throwback playoff moments or something ridiculous like that, um, it would have been much better. But... Yeah, at the same time, uh, it is what it is. This is the last time we'll see this type of card art. And let's be real, who's out here using Spotlight Sims? So, now we are going to go on to the cards as well as going over their six. Again, a wrong thing there. There is actually a spreadsheet. So, this spreadsheet right here, it literally it shows you the six of every single player. So, I can't actually... Be I'm actually surprised that... Um, 2 Candy Central MTDB haven't tried to put like incorporate SIGs into the sites because it's a little, it's very, very important. So it shows the animations of the player. So it just kind of shows how far we've come as well. With that, we no longer just look at stats and we're now looking at animations. But anyway, it's been too long. We have been two minutes and we have not gotten onto a single player. So Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole has got an 88 mid range shot, a 92 three ball, a 91 handle. He is a six foot six two guy slash small forward, which is annoying. Because if he could play point guard, that would be a hell of a lot better. Be a hell of a lot better. He's got 90 lateral quickness. He's got 71 block, which is okay. 90 premier defense, 89 steal. Great speed to ball acceleration. So he could be good. He could be good. Um, Only go quick draw on gold range, which is not ideal. It is definitely, definitely not ideal. But he's got a bunch of good shooting badges, Hall of Fame. Got Hall of Fame quick first step, tight handles, handles for days. A gold unpluckable. Gold floor general has got... Hall of Fame clamps, um, pickpocket Hall of Fame, interceptor gold, so a bunch of really good badges here. And for the fact that he's going to probably be around 9, 10 KMT, I think he might be all right. So the one thing I've noticed with him is that he has Ben McElmore's base. Literally nobody except Ben, ben McElmore has got Ben McElmore's base. So it's really, really hard to compare him because we haven't, like you can't see Ben McElmore's base on, half quick, on goal quick draw. So I assume it's going to be good, but you just never know. Um, let's have a look at his, what's it, his uh, dribble pull-up, his athletic seven. I'm not sure, what. which one is the leaner, lads? Which one is the leaner? Obviously, there's no normal four anywhere, so you know that he doesn't quite have the leaner. But he has got pro four moving cross, he's got pro four behind the back, pro four moving spin, pro four moving hezzy, um, normal five triple chest style, I don't know what exactly that is. And again, they're not bad. They're not incredible, but they're not bad dribble animations as far as I know. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be okay for his price. I don't think he's going to be anything spectacular. Um, then we've got Thanasis Antetokounmpo. So Thanasis Antetokounmpo has got an 80 mid-range shot. He has got a 98 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk, 86 ball handle, 96 speed, 94 speed ball, 96 acceleration, 91 lateral quickness, 84 block, 91 perimeter defense. So overall, his stats are fantastic. Problem is, is that he's a 6'6", 2 guard, so he is that little bit undersized. Badges wise, actually he's got half quick draw, gold range, got a bunch of good defensive badges, some okay playmaking badges, I wish they were Hall of Fame, but you know what, gold is kind of okay, so um, yeah, his stats are mediocre, he's a little bit undersized, if he has max wingspan he might be alright, and looking at his sigs, he's got jump shot 40, which is like Nick Batum's jump shot. I'm not sure who else has that. I just remember it is Nick Batum. He has got Pro 1 everything, which they're not terrible. They're like, basically, he's got T-Mac dribble moves, as far as I know, without the Pro Tree Hezzy. But 
it's not terrible either. But his release is pretty okay from what I've from what I've seen anyway. Nick Batum's on half quick draw. That's like that's gonna be a good release. Um he has got next we're on to Cliff Robinson. So Cliff Robinson has is a six ten guy that can play small forward. He's got ninety five um three ball. He has got a ninety five driving dunk, eighty five post fadeaway, eighty two post hooked is not bad. Has got good speed, really good defense, good ball handle as well. 90 steel is pretty good. So let's have a look at the badges. Got half range and half quick draw. His release is Leitner's release. So make it out what you will. Um, I think it's like Leitner's release, Kevin McHale's release. I don't mind it as a big man, but I'm not entirely sure he can shoot from the corners. Um, he has got difficult shots, Hall of Fame, floor general, quick for a step downhill. But he's got every defense badge, at least gold. So, honestly, I think he's going to be decent. I think he's going to be... He's going to be decent. I don't think he's going to be this exceptional, exceptional player. So, yeah, I think he's going to be all right. Especially if he's cheap. If he's expensive... If he's anything more than 15k, not great. Um, But if he's 15k or less, he's going to be quite good. My entire chat saying I'm muted when I can literally see that on my screen that I'm not muted. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. But um, next, we are on to what is probably going to be one of the most interesting of these cards, Bob Sura. So Bob Sura. Not a, people were saying that I was very, very excited and that um, for or excited for Bob Sura because he was a beast at the start of the year. I was and I wasn't. Like The big reason why I like really put him out with Bob Sura at the start of the year was I called Bob Sura being a god before the game came out. Like, literally, like, a, a week before the game came out, I made a video telling everyone to get Bob Sura. Because I knew that he made, he was a three-point contest and a dunk contest participant. And he was an Emerald Token Award, so I knew he was going to be a god. But, um, yeah, so, 95-3, 94 shot IQ, 94 ball handle, great speed, great defense. A 6-5 point guard. You know what, he's not going to be bad. Interior defense isn't terrible either. He's going to be pretty good. Um, badges wise he's got Hall of Fame quick draw Hall of Fame range extender volume shooter flexible release difficult shots quick first step Hall of Fame handles for days and pluckable handles for days floor or floor general downhill bailout dimer chase down clamps interceptor tires defender so he has got sorry Cliff Robinson sorry he's got set shot 3 and normal drill moves so he's got no dribbling um, I forgot to go over that Bob Sir has got jump shot 22 release 26 with Pro 6, Pro 4, or Pro 2 moving behind the back. I don't think these are bad either. I do not think these are bad SIGs whatsoever. Um, but, yeah, so let's have a look at Jump Shot 22. Actually, I know what Jump Shot 22 is. Jump Shot 22 is like uh, Mark Aguirre. It is uh, Jack Sigma, Thurl. But Thurl is a weird upper. Joe Smith, they're all Jump Shot 22. So Jump Shot 22 is actually a... Pretty good release. His dribbling is all right. And what I think this card is basically going to be is a better version of this card right here. I think he's honestly just going to be a better version of a Grayson Allen. I think he's going to be, if he ends up being cheap, like if he ends up being 15K, he could be a really, really good card. But I think in general, he's just going to be a better version of Grayson Allen. Then last but not least, the 2K17 God himself, Steven Jackson. If you guys remember... Steven Jackson from NBA 2K17, that Amethyst card was a game changer, lads. So, 92 three-point shot, 95 mid for Steven Jackson, 95 dunk, 91 ball handle, 93 speed, 90 speed ball, 94 acceleration. He's got 91 lateral quickness again, like he may as well have 95, everything that matters. He's a small forward slash two guard, so he's a 6A two guard, basically, so he's got good height. Half quick draw, half range. He has got downhill Hall of Fame floor general, quick first step, space creator, stop and go, handles and or tight handles and pluckable, clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, lining reflex, off a pest pogo. So he's got a bunch of great, great badges here. So um, now I'm going to go over his uh, animations. Got Beasley Mellow, which again, I don't know exactly how great that's going to be. Um, but he also has got Pro 2 size of Pro 8 moving cross, which I'm pretty sure Pro 8 is the, the league build. Um, dribble spam. I'm pretty sure that that is a very, very good um, through the legs and crossover. A good behind the back, as far as I know. I don't know what Pro 8 has he is, though. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it. So, he's going to be a really nice card. 
I think Steven Jackson probably will be worth, if he is around a 50, 60K, um, he will be definitely worth it. I wouldn't pay any more than that. To be honest, I wouldn't really pay any more than 50, 60K for any card. It's just not God tier at this stage, especially for a wing. Because there's so many great, really cheap wings. I honestly, for a wing, you can get away with spending 10K on a card. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that is the video. I think all these cards are interesting in different ways. I don't think any of these cards are terrible. Um, I don't think any of these cards are spectacular either. But they're all gonna be they're all gonna be solid. But anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.